Get ready for some mild and breezy conditions for tonight. Warmest day is going to be on Wednesday before we get some colder air and as well as a wintry and some snow moving in for the weekend. Cloudy skies across the area right now, uh, but those winds still very strong coming out of the south. Anywhere from about 15 to 20 to 28 mile per hour winds, sustained winds across our viewing area. Uh, so very strong winds to continue for tonight as well. They will die down to very light winds as we're heading into tomorrow uh, because we do have that nice warm front that's going to stay with us for tonight as well as into tomorrow. In fact, the warmest day is going to be for tomorrow before this cold front continues to sweep through the area, switching those southerly winds to the northwest. And that's going to be ushering in a good 20 degrees difference between tomorrow and into Thursday. The clouds are going to stay with us for tonight as well as into Wednesday before decreasing throughout the day on Thursday. So we're finally getting to see a little bit more sunshine as we're heading into late week. Let's go and take a look at the KTVO Skycam in Atumwa. And it is uh, very windy. Winds are out of the south at 19. Temperatures around 35 degrees. That's put in the wind chill, feeling like it's about 24 degrees across the area. 36 in Kirksville, 36 as well as in Atumwa, in uh, Centerville. Macon coming in around 38 degrees. In fact, these temperatures are not going to be moving very much as we're heading into the rest of the evening and overnight. 37 degrees at 1 in the morning by 3, holding steady at 37 degrees. And of course, we were just talking about the lunar trifecta, the super blue blood moon. Uh, so again, the moon is at the closest point to the Earth for tonight. Uh, the blue because it's the second full moon of January. And of course we do have the blood, the tint of blood because it's going to be red because of the total eclipse. So again, it starts at 451 in our viewing area. The maximum is around 717 in the morning and it ends around 723. Unfortunately, we do have some partly cloudy skies for tonight, so it's not going to see be the best viewing uh, for this. Uh, but again, might see it. Maybe you'll get a little bit of a breaks in the clouds, but we are going to see some partly cloudy skies. Temperature wise, we're looking about 36 degrees. So again, not moving very much from where we, those temperatures are right now. Still hanging on with those southwest winds 15 to 20 with gusts up to about 30 miles per hour for tonight. The good news is they will start to die down and switch to the northwest for tomorrow. But those temperatures look at this again, the warmest day of the week, 47 degrees as your high before those temperatures take a tumble as we're heading into the rest of the week. Northwest winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. I do want to go ahead and stress this because even though it's winter, we got to start thinking about severe weather season. Season. And the first the first storm uh, spotter training in our viewing area is going to be this Thursday, February 1st. It's going to be in Macon County. It starts at 7 o'clock at the Macon County Expo Center. It's free and open to the public. So if you've ever wanted to know more about thunderstorms, tornadic activity, come on down to Macon. If you can't make it to Macon, no worries. It's good. There's going to be plenty of other opportunities in our viewing area in other counties, and we'll be promoting them on Facebook and on Twitter. And of course, I'll tell you more about that as the days approach uh, for that. So again, the first one is this Thursday in Macon at seven o'clock. So come on down for that. If you've ever wanted to know more about tornadoes and thunderstorms, National Weather Service does a phenomenal job on this. Let's take a look at this seven day forecast 28 degrees as your high on Thursday cooling things down. There's that 20 degrees difference. 30 is your high on Friday. 50% chance of a wintry mix and some light snow on Saturday night as well as Sunday. 17 degrees as your high on Sunday. Warming back up to about 30 degrees by Tuesday. Overnight lows falling into the single digits Thursday night as well as into the weekend. Of course, anytime check us out 24 7 at KTVO.com. Winter is still hanging on. Pretty much over it by now, though. I know. <laughs> you and me both. Be done with it. Let's bring on spring. Thanks, Teresa. <laughs> Coming up next, Fred with sports. He's up right after this.